figured that they might be coming because I heard a lot of footsteps coming down a very long driveway. And they circled me. And a bunch of people back here and probably every single neighbor here heard me scream at them, get off my property at the top of my lungs more than once, sirs. And all my video cameras have that as well. So why don't you first, instead of accusing me and criminalizing me, the man that defended his property, show me that you actually defend the rights that you guys say you do. Act like the guys that you say you are and make me feel comfortable that when shit goes to hell in a handbasket and these guys ask you to start killing Americans for doing nothing, that you guys will lay that shit down. Hey, I feel comfortable when I'm speaking to somebody that actually has a heart and will speak to me as a man. No, you're talking to me as a cop, dude. Drop the cop and I'll talk to you, got it? And not pretend drop the cop, I know what that shit is. And get the lights out of my eyes. No, you don't gotta do anything, I'll walk away from you then. I'll just go inside my house because there is no crime committed here as every single camera, every single thing and every camera that we're recording on has gotten every single piece of this. Why don't you go talk to the neighbors and first get the story and you'll hear me screaming Get off my property, and then maybe you'll treat me with some respect, and you'll go after the bad guys that are outside that gate right now. Except for Jason, who there, who is who I was trying to talk to so I could give him a hard drive with some stuff so I could tell him to get some advice and get some help. That's it. And I didn't want ten people beating the shit out of me while I was trying to help a man. Hey, sir, what's your name? My name is Derek, and this is my hey, property. Derek. Can you inform me of a crime I have committed? I'm Officer Irwin, Los Angeles Police Department. Yes. Well, but you're asking me to step off my property, ma'am. I, I well, this don't. Is, this is how it normally goes. So you well, yeah, yeah, but, but, but wait. I don't care how it normally goes. No, no, no. I'm just saying that we normally interview. Okay, well, you're interviewing me right now. Well, normally. No, because if I step off that property, you have entirely different rights than you have right now. Don't pretend I don't know what you have. I'm trying to be very cordial. Listen to me. You wanted to talk to a senior supervisor. Yes, I do. Okay, that's me. Okay, so what is your name, sir? Pardon me? Okay, I, I can't, I cannot see you. Can you put the light somewhere behind me so at least I can right actually here. see towards you? Okay, listen to me. Okay, can you I have, walk closer to you? Are you armed right now? Pardon me? Are you armed right now? I will have Ron. Ron is a is a former special forces gentleman. He can take my weapon off of my out of my pocket. Are Ron? you armed right now? Not yet. Do you have Do you have a weapon on you? I do no, not. Okay. I want him to check and see if I do because I don't know. I have a belt pocket. I don't know if I do. Yeah, if I do. The belt pocket. Does he have a weapon on him? No, I don't. don't no. Take it out, no, I don't. Sir. No. Yes, I no. understand you. I know. Does he have a weapon on him? I'm checking. I do not. Do you understand? No. Okay. Why listen. This is ridiculous that I have to listen. go through this shit on my property. I'm listen. gonna take my jacket off. May I? That way you guys have very good clean sight of what I look like. What I'd like you to do, okay, right now, okay, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to come over here and talk to me. Okay, I will come closer and speak okay, to you. I'm not going to grab you or anything. Just come over here and talk to me. Okay, first of all. And your friends with the camera can come too. Okay, come but here's what, here. here, here's what I would like to do. I would like to ask you then to respect my wishes. Right now you are actually on my property. Just because the gate is there, that is still my property. Okay, so there's that line right there that you see. Okay, listen to I would just, just like that. No, no, no. I would like you there, and then I'll speak to you. Got it? All right. Pass that line. Got it? Okay. So what's going on, man? Okay. So this gentleman here, he's in a business called multi-level marketing. Okay? They have lots of companies. I, gentlemen, just to give you some perspective, I'm a former executive with Microsoft. A very senior executive. Okay. I'm a guy that stands over Bill Gates and screams at him. Okay. This lady here ran supply chain for Microsoft. These are multi-billion dollar organizations, obviously you know that. My name you can look up right now and you'll see all of my associations with Microsoft, Senior Vice President of Paramount Pictures. I am not a nutcase, I am very well connected. I have worked, I ran mobile for all of Global for Microsoft. I've been around the world a long time. My name is Derek Rose, okay? These gentlemen are in a very nasty industry. Some businesses are good, some businesses are bad. They do a lot of damage. That guy there is an old friend that is in a bit of a quandary, and he came to me, okay? 
And I can't tell him what kind of trouble he's in because I don't do that because that's not my role. You can. I cannot promise you I will answer you. Okay. So what these guys say is that they had talked to you earlier and they told you they were going to bring some food over. And uh, they came over here. And you can see there's a jack in the box there. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, is, is that part true? Because um, there's a bunch of guys out here. You're trying to tr establish some truth to anything that I'm they say. No, no. You're trying to establish some truth to what they say. Look, I can inter interview you guys better than you can interview me. Okay, so Believe me. So, so listen. So how, these guys came here. I told you who they are. Okay. okay well, I just got here. Well, well, you're still talking, and if you want to know who they are, considering that they're the bad guys, okay. and we've already established here who I am, because you can look that up, right? Okay. And we've already established that there's no crime been committed here because I'm on my property. So if somebody comes on my property and this entire neighborhood scree hears me scream at the top of my lungs, get off my property, I don't care whether it's one or 50. The fact of the matter is right now I'm having a conversation with you and all of those people who are lucky they're alive. Okay, and you're brandishing me. You're you're coming and brandishing yourself and pumping yourself up to me, and I just save people. Okay, do you save lives? Do you save lives? Okay, do you? Is that what you do for a living? Well, we protect property, assist the community. Protect whose property? Whose whose property are you protecting right now, sir? Are you protecting mine? Sir, I'm here conducting an investigation. On what? A crime? I'm asking potentially. Well, why don't you ask all of these neighbors? Considering you know what. I don't even know their names, and I guarantee you they'll tell you the exact thing that they heard, okay? And that means they heard a man okay. being surrounded by a whole bunch of dudes, okay? okay so I want to know about What the, would you do? I want to know about the gun part. Uh, what would you do? So you don't want to know about a gun part, because I'm not going to tell you, but I'll ask you this. You're on your property. You're having a barbecue. You have a friend that you're kind of loosely connected with, and he's in a really shady, shitty industry, and he's making a whole lot of threats about you because... I'm telling him about some shit that's coming down to his world. Okay, so what I'm okay? going to do... But no, 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 you're, you're going to hear, hear the story. You can't hear part of the story and think you heard it all. Okay. Now, I try to help this gentleman out and say, I can tell you you're in a really bad situation because I know that it's not his stuff. I know he's involved with bad people. But it's a shitty industry. And there's billions of dollars of shit that they do. And believe me, all of these folks are lots of lists. Okay, lots of your guys' list. Okay. His entire neighborhood, everybody knows him. You can ask them who he is. Everybody in that valley hears him because all he does is scream at these people. It's like a slave trade. Okay. okay, that's all this man does. I was trying to help him, and he's screaming at me on text. So here's you go. Here's you at your house. You're having a barbecue, and your friend loosely connected to you. What's your name? What is your first name? I'm doing a hypothetical of you as a person, not as an officer. My first name is Mark. Okay, Mark. You're having a barbecue, Mark, at your house with your kids or your wife or your friends. And you're trying to help your friend. And you know he's a little cockeyed. He's in a crappy business. And you like him because he's a good guy and the other people he's involved in are shitty. I said, I want to help you. And he's saying, what are you trying to do? You're trying to say that I'm a shitty guy because his ego's crazy. And he's around those people and he screams at people all day long. I said, I cannot tell you. Because if I even tell you what it is, I could implicate you in it. Okay. I need you to take his property, this guy's property, and so I'm trying to tell him how to be safe with the piece of property that he has so he doesn't get hurt. Okay. And because he thinks I'm going to hurt him, I tell him very explicitly in text, and he's got the text. You can look at his phone. If he deleted it, come to my phone, and I'll show it to you. And he'll tell you the truth. And he'll take, I told him, come alone, because the way he sounded in the text. And so I say, come alone, and he says, we're going to eat food. I'm with the folks. And he says, come to dinner. I said, I'm not coming to dinner. I told you you're coming here alone. I said, if you want, you can stop and get food. Yeah. Okay, so your buddy does that. He shows up with 10 dudes that walk up and surround me. I say, I told you to come alone. And they come closer. I, and I, wait, I'm not done. And then you're sitting there in the middle of all these guys who you've never seen before because at that point where it's lit, it's all silhouettes. But I don't know whether you can see me, but I'm 5'9", and I'm standing in my property that I just came back down from my place up in Washington because I'm trying to sell my piece of property down here because I've got work to do up there. And I get these guys come down here and a bunch of men surround me, and I say, get off my property, very nicely. And then I say, get off my property, and they come closer. And then most of them back off, and one guy comes at me, and I say, get off my property. Okay, okay now you take a bunch of steps back, and I'm taking steps back, 
zips back, and I'm backing myself up against the wall, and he's still coming. Okay. The next thing he gets is, I'm going to kill you if you come further. Who Nobody. Well, it's this look. Okay? okay? All right. He understood that. And they all walked out. And I did that with my hand. Did, did someone, and you guys are here. Did someone call MEU from my group? Excuse me? Okay. This, is, this is a personal matter. Do you understand? This is not an operation. This is a personal matter with a very stupid man okay. that brought a lot of stupid crap around here, which is not going to make my life much better. Okay. So they'll still get their stuff, and he's going to get hers. But why don't you talk to him about his? I did not commit a crime, and you guys know that, okay? So I don't need to be having this conversation, and you know that too. Well, here's the thing is this, sir. I listen, I listen to you. Okay, well, I don't have to listen to you. Well, the, the But I will, because I want to, because I really want to know I why that. you're here, because I, it makes me I, confused. I appreciate that, and, uh, you know, you look like a guy that's uh, got a lot of experience. And uh, so you, you obviously you understand when the police get a call, we have to do an investigation. I, I really appreciate you coming over here to talk to uh, me, because it, it just makes things so much simpler. Um, but do you understand why I have to tone you guys down too? No, I don't. Look, I know, I know your boys, okay? I'm trying to sympathize with you guys. I, the last I, thing you guys want to be in is a bad situation, especially one that I, I nobody just, called for because he was an idiot. All right. And that dude was really dumb. Okay. I mean dumb, and he kept trying to come back, okay. which, oh, and he broke my gate. So there, there's, a, you know, there's a couple, you know, to two sides, there's every story, okay? Yes. And there's the, you know, basically what you're telling me, Uh, I didn't really defend myself. Well, I stood there, up and said, I will yeah, defend right. myself. Well, you know, in, in the law, there's I showed my, I know the law. Believe me, I know the law, sir, with all due respect. Right. I know it a lot right. better than you do. Right. Okay. A lot better. Okay. okay. But, but I'm just trying to, what I'm really trying to I fight on your behalf before the U.S. Supreme Court. Right. That's what I do. Yeah. I know the law. I'm, You're the, to, I'm the guy you rely on. I'm trying to just basically understand what happened here tonight. And I told you exactly what it was. And here's all you need to know. If there were a bunch of people on my property, I, wait, 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 no, see, that's what I need to know. Um, what you need to know is that a bunch of people threatened me on my property that I did not know. Okay, okay? Absolutely, and I said, get off my property, and you know what? They saw me say, get off my property, and I showed them that I had some force. I showed it with my eyes and a finger, and in that dark setting, they all ran out of here. So you didn't have a gun? No, so what I'm telling you is that they can say whatever they want. Yes, sir. This gentleman in back of you yes. holding the camera. Yes. We asked him to search you because you said you may have a gun on you. Yes. Okay. There are guns that you can hide that sometimes you don't know are there. That's the point. Okay. So do you have a gun on you now? I'm not answering your question because it's not a requirement. I know you have a gun on you. Do you have a gun on your do you have a gun on your ankle, sir? No, no, I don't. Well, you're in front of that line right now and you're on my property. Okay. So I don't know you do. Can you okay. show me? Okay. I'm just, I'm helping you understand your rights as opposed to mine, they're the same. Right? Okay. Well, they're the same. Okay. So, so I'm on my property. The difference is, it's none of your business whether I have a pistol on me. It's none of your business whether I have a fucking M16 on me, if it's legal in this state. It's none. You want to know whether what I have is legal. So you want to see it. So you want to poke. Yes, I look, I, I, trust me, I trained you guys on this stuff. Do you understand? That's why I well, don't lie to me. Be yeah, honest with me. 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 I know your stuff, so don't talk to me with are your you stuff on that you. you are you on medication? Are you on the medication? Are you on Adderall, sir? I know the drugs of the department. Okay. What what medication are you, medication? are you, sir? Well, some of the things that you said to me, I'm going to be honest, sound a little bizarre. Bizarre? What? A little, a little bizarre. So you're putting the limitations of your intelligence on me. Well, that's really nice of well, you to do. Well, well, well no, no, no. That's what you sir, did. That's fine. I'm I get it. And I'm telling you, it's you're none of your business. Doctor. Are you on medication? No, I'm not. Sir, yes, you are. You're lying to me. I can see it on your face. You know why?